Well, everyone, iOS 17.1.2 has just officially came out. So let's go and take a look at it and see what basically came within this particular update. Now, a few things to keep in mind here. The number one thing I'd recommend keeping in mind is this update size was fairly interesting. So you can see coming from 17.1.1, it was actually 526 megabytes. Now, I still don't know why Apple does this. Some people I've seen talk about this too. It only tells us this update provides important security fixes and is recommended for all users. Now you can click on this link to see more information, but I wish Apple would give us more information here. Like it's still annoying they're still not doing that. Like I've seen some people talk about that. It's very annoying. But if we look at Mac rumors, which is right here, they did kind of talk about exactly what brought, you know, was brought into this update. And you can see that basically, it basically essentially says Apple Day release iOS 17.1.2, which is a small update. And they're basically saying, I think they're coming, you know, there's 17.2.1 and other things are coming a little bit later. Now, here's what they mentioned that's very important. It says right down here that processing, this is basically what Apple stated, processing web content may disclose sensitive information. Apple's aware of a report that this issue may have been exploited against versions of iOS before iOS 16.7.1. Processing web content may lead to arbitrary code execution. Apple is aware of this and they're basically going to be fixing this problem. So it looks like if you're on 16.7.1 or below, there was an issue that could have been, you know, kind of exploiting or giving information from your iPhone to these web content API people. So that's a very big issue. Luckily, Apple finally pushed out this update. They were supposed to push this thing out, you know, so long ago. But if you want to go and update, you can always make your way into your you know, settings panel here, go into general, click on software update, and you should be able to find this update there. Overall though, I will tell you everything else is probably going to stay consistently the same. There's not really going to be any features or changes or anything big like that happening right now. 17.1.2 is pretty much going to be that main version of update that you might want to go and install as soon as possible because this is going to be something that I'm hoping Apple released an iOS 16 update as well, and even an iOS 15 update that fixes this as well, because it is a very, very big problem. And if you're not updating your iPhone, this is going to cause some very big issues for your devices. So what I'll tell you is 17.1.2, all it really brought was just some bug fixes. There may be some things in the background that maybe you, know, you could see, or maybe Apple has stated like, oh, it's fixed this or that, but I would recommend installing this update as soon as possible, because it's going to end up fixing the problem for you. So... That pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.